A failed star, which does not emit visible light like our sun, can still produce light signals in the form of infrared radiation that can only be detected by advanced instruments such as the James Webb Telescope. These objects, known as brown dwarfs, share some characteristics with stars but do not have enough mass to activate the nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium, which is essential for them to shine and radiate heat. They form from the collapse of gas and dust like stars, and initially manage to briefly fuse deuterium, a heavy isotope of hydrogen, before gradually cooling. Although they appear dark, brown dwarfs emit an infrared glow that the James Webb Telescope can detect and analyze using specialized spectrometers. These celestial bodies are halfway between gas giant planets and smaller stars, and science is starting to consider them a category in themselves, with properties yet to be explored. One surprising case is that of the brown dwarf V1 1935, more than 40 light years away, around which an unexpected aurora has been detected, perhaps caused by charged particles heating the atmosphere or by interstellar plasma. Another hypothesis suggests the influence of an active moon or a nearby celestial body. Although common, brown dwarfs have long been overlooked, thought to be simply failed stars, but they may belong to a realm of dark objects that emit light in ways we are only now beginning to understand. Our universe may indeed have a parallel dark side, made up of dark matter, dark energy and interstellar space that influence the visible fabric of reality. Although we cannot see dark matter directly, we observe its effects. It is the fabric of the universe, while dark energy is its engine. Objects such as brown dwarfs and black holes suggest the existence of a parallel cosmos that coexists with our own. At the quantum level, every celestial body is made up of quanta, fundamental particles of light and information, which means that all matter, even that of brown dwarfs, is made of light in forms that we cannot perceive with our senses. This view aligns with string theory, which posits the existence of dimensions beyond the four we know, dimensions invisible but perhaps omnipresent around us.